morning everyone and welcome to SeaWorld Orlando. We're finally here. It's the second last day of our trip and we're finally at SeaWorld. But there's a reason for it because I have three mentees who are on animal trainer teams and the three of them at the moment are working today. So that's why we chose to come today so that I could get to see all three of them at work. So that's what we're gonna try and do. For anyone who has clicked on this video and is confused as to why I know so many people at SeaWorld, it's because I am a former killer whale trainer. Not here at SeaWorld Orlando, I work at Laura Park in Tenerife and Marineland in France. And if you want more info, scroll back on my videos, there are plenty. Or you could even go and read my book, I still believe. I will leave the link below in the comments. We are in the park and first of all I have to say a massive thank you to my friend Hannah who got us our tickets so thank you very much otherwise we wouldn't be here so thank you and we are heading to Dolphin Cove at the moment my mentee our former mentee Ashley is working there so I'm going to see if I can spy her and then we might also go to Dolphin underwater viewing there she is there she is. I found her. The one directly across from us. Some measurements over here and I think Ashley's dolphin has decided I'm going to go and check that out. For Ashley, she's like, I'm just going to have to wait till you come back now. How many more roller coasters is SeaWorld going to build before they start investing in animal welfare? That's, uh, that's my question. How about we redo some of the animal exhibits, huh? That's a thought. I don't even know how they have room for new roller coasters. Like, they're opening a new roller coaster like every six months, it seems. I don't know. This is Manta. I also love um, the sign saying Orca Encounter, but it's closed. So that's fun for people who don't know that. Okay, so it's time for the 11 o'clock sea lion show. And uh, my mentee Alexis said she has a five second roll <laughs> on stage, oh, bless her. She's doing so well, but she's doing a lot of the backstage roles at the moment. Um, so I will do my best to keep an eye out for her. So I remember being at SeaWorld San Antonio when they changed this show. And they changed it from the kind of high school thing they had to the Pacific Point Preserve Conservation Center and it's so much better. somewhere but I just met my lovely mentee Alexis it was so nice to see her sea lion show was great she had a very small role in it and I think I did get a little clip of her uh, for the reel for the vlog um, and I also got one for reels on Instagram uh, so I'll need to send that to her and now we are heading to what is I think is now dine with orcas not dine with Shamu uh, because my mentee Sydney got us a spot because it wasn't full which is great because the orca stadium is closed so there are no orca shows so this way we will get to see them I didn't know they had a Seven Seas food festival on that's cool so they've got like Mediterranean Sea, Indian Sea, 
I'm sure my mum's maybe gonna get a snack at the Indian market. It's so loud in this park, oh my goodness. So this is the only sign that they have. They don't even have a sign saying it's closed. All they say is that pardon our bubbles. I'm already seeing a lot of very confused looking faces of people wandering around here, wondering how they can see the orcas. And at the moment, all, the only way most people can see them is at underwater viewing. Um, so SeaWorld, come on, communication. Like, open communication. I know it's difficult for aquariums sometimes, but... So here we go, it says, orca presentations proceed to underwater viewing. Here we go. So we are now at Dyer with Arcus and they're doing some sort of training over here. We have some teeth cleaning going on over here. That's really nice that they show that. That her eyeball is actually the fact that her eyes are not in that false eye patch it actually provides protection. So if an animal is trying to get away and kind of again go in their eyes. Now when Malia is down at the glass, she may or may not have her mouth open. You'll notice that killer whales have make out the exact op uh, outline of the animal in face of seated at Dine, just waiting on our food, and we watched one of the sessions that they were doing. I think Katina was getting her nebulizer done in the other pool. Um, but it's nice just sitting here and chilling and watching, so big thank you to Sydney for uh, getting, squeezing us into Dine, uh, which was really, really nice of her. Sydney is looking for us. She did say she was going to come and say hi during Dine, and she's going to have to walk oh, way around to come and find us. Food has arrived. We both went for the beef. Everybody up and out of the water. Oh. Out of the water and land on her back. Oh, lovely friend Hannah just appeared with these so we're gonna we're gonna get a little drink I love that they have a wave machine in here for the dolphins that's great so I got to meet up with my mentee Tyler which was lovely he took us around Wild Arctic and then my friend Hannah who's the one who got us in and now I'm doing a lovely little meet and greet with my mentee Ashley with my mum my mum's obsessed with dolphins so uh, she's gonna love it but I'm loving the wave machine in here honestly I think that's great Thank you so much to Ashley for doing our little meet and greet with Starla. It was lovely. I didn't get too many videos, but the ones that I did, I probably will have put in. I grabbed a couple on my phone. And let's see the stingrays, shall we? Yeah, we're gonna see the stingrays. So we've got a little bit of time. We've got about an hour and a half until the dolphin show, which we obviously really want to see. 
So we're going to have a little mooch around, we're going to look at some animal exhibits and probably some shops as well. I don't even see any stingrays actually. They might all be in the other pool. I like the bubbling effect. It's so loud in here. This is very beach house aesthetic. I am in the market for a hoodie actually. Maybe one that's Oh, this is, at least this is plain in the back. I feel like all the Disney ones have something huge on the back. Oh, they have some SeaWorld spirit jerseys. Wait, I'll hang, I'm gonna get this for Paul. I'm gonna hang this on the back of your chair. Does this work? No, that will not work. Can I give you this to hold? Thank you. I do quite like this one. It's got, at least it's got some purple in it, I suppose. There's says SeaWorld on the back. I do like that. But this is the one that caught my eye, the blue one. Oh, it's got glitter in it. Hmm. I like the dolphin design, but I'm not the biggest fan of the glitter. Well, Paul, I'm sorry, but uh, you're not getting your t-shirt because apparently the whole park is cards. Uh, you can't pay anywhere in cash, so apologies. So we're now at Dolphin Nursery. Very evident in the name that this is where the baby dolphins are. know if they have any babies at the moment. I'm not sure if they do. So since Hannah gave us the little lanyard for the Seven Seas Food Festival, I think we're gonna make our way there. There's lots of like little booths along the lake. So I think we'll maybe go a little ways around and see if there are a couple of drinks or little snacks that we want to sample before heading for the dolphin show at five. Don't think I'm gonna be getting anything from the French menu. It was never my favorite. Oh my god, this park is so loud. It's like, I can't deal with it anymore. Like, it's just people screaming on roller coasters or extremely loud music. Like, you you can eat it. No, I don't need a photo of it. You can eat it. So we got, we stopped at the American stall and got my mom some lobster mac and cheese. So, what's the verdict? This lighting's terrible. It's more fishy than cheese. Oh, really? Okay, I would hate it then. The fish and chips look good. They look better than the lobster mac and cheese anyway. I'm not gonna lie, I've had fun meeting all of my mentees and seeing the animals and stuff, but my God, this park. I don't know if it's today or because it's a weekend or because there's a festival on, but I am so overstimulated. Like, I can't even deal with it. It's so loud, like, Thumping music from the speakers, people screaming on roller coasters constantly. Like, this isn't how we remember SeaWorld. Like, SeaWorld was always a tranquil, quiet place. Yeah. Yes, there were some areas you went where it was a bit noisy, right? but the majority, it was tranquil. Yeah, like, we, I remember um, the vacation we came at Christmas, and we were like, oh my god, SeaWorld's the only park that, like, you can hear so yourself think, space. and it's so peaceful, and oh my god, today is not that. And it's not like, it's not even like guest volume, it's no, just, no. it's loud, like so loud. It's all the roller coasters and all the, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, we're here to see the dolphin show and then we are getting out of here. Well, this is my first time seeing the all new redone stadium with it. The last time I saw this, it was still Blue Horizons, so. It's nice that you can see, well, you never used to be able to see the back pools, mum. You never used to be able to see that. It's nice.
only if did the trainers not go in with the dolphins at all anymore? I thought they still did. They just adapted it into a more naturalistic presentation. Um, either that or it was just that that show they didn't go in. And again, variability, fine. Um, and all the naturalistic behaviors were great. The trainer that spoke on the mic was very good. Yes. Like she was very clear, like it was good. I was missing a little bit of a story, um, I guess, but I just like, that's an element that I like in a show. Yeah. But anyway, we are heading out of the park now. We've called a taxi and let's see if it arrives. And that is a wrap on our SeaWorld vlog. It has been crazy hectic, but it has been a fun day. Lovely. The weather's been amazing. If you're interested in watching any other SeaWorld vlogs, then I will link them below because I think I've vlogged SeaWorld San Antonio twice. Once with you mm -hmm. and then once with Paul. And I'm very, very lucky that most of the times that I go to SeaWorld, I get to do special fun things. So I suppose that's always nice to watch. Yeah, you've been... And if you're interested in killer whale vlogs in general, then uh, I've got loads. Just look under the playlist Animal Fun, or I might have renamed it by that point to something more specific. Uh, but we are about to go and wait on our taxi. As always, guys, if you have been enjoying these vlogs, there should be just one more to go because tomorrow we are going to Magic Kingdom for our last Disney day and then we head home on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a friendly comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you next time.